Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session, uh, physiology portion of the MRCS. Uh, now, uh, say the question, which of the following substance uh, treatments is not utilized in the treatment of the overactive bladder syndrome? So, in case of overactive bladder syndrome, uh, which is not utilized or which method is not applied? Here the options, options are sectoral neuromodulation, botulinum toxin injection, bladder drill, oxybutynin and colpo suspension so let's see some of the treatment of the overactive bladder so here we can see the overactive bladder syndrome is very very common actually it's uh, common after the road traffic accident after the major trauma or major surgery even uh, from the uh, physical disabilities uh, like the stroke or other conditions so first of all see the first line management the first line managements are use of the anticholinergic so first of all we have to use the anticholinergic agent that prevents the action of the cholinergic substances bladder drill whereby voiding is deeper so sometimes bladder drill may be done botulinum toxin injection also may be given here we can see the colpo suspension is used to treat a stress urinary incontinence that means the any condition which increase the intra abdominal pressure such as the it may be cough or it may be hiccup or it may be a chronic constipation in this case stress incontinence develop and in this condition colpo suspension may be done so here we can see the overactive symptoms uh, overactive bladder symptoms uh, what is the diagnostic point so here we can see frequency eight or more visits to the toilet per 24 hours which is the per three hours so when a man or women or a patient it goes more eight or more than eight uh, in the toilet for urination purpose in this condition it is called the called the overactive bladder noctura two or more visit to the toilet during sleeping hours so it is also the overactive bladder symptoms and else here we can see the urgency that means sudden strong desire to, to boil it that is difficult to defer that means sometimes we wait uh, sometimes uh, such as uh, we are engaged in important action so we have to delay to go to toilet but in this condition it is not possible and adds on incontinence that means a sudden and involuntary loss of the urine so these are the symptoms of the overactive bladder so here we can see the urgency when i want to go i have to rush because i think i may wait myself so here we can see the definitive picture of urgency and the bladder anatomy or physiology here you can see this is the bladder and different type of the supply among them sympathetic nervous system or sympathetic nerve supply parasympathetic nerve supply and somatic nerve supply so here you can see the sympathetic nerve supply it gives out time it uh, gives more and more storage if when we urgent the sympathetic nerve system it activated and it gives some time to us to for prevention of go to the toilet and the sympathetic nervous system it causes the distension of the urinary bladder and the storage of the urine on the other hand the parasympathetic nerve supply sacral 2 sacral 3 and sacral 4 it causes the contraction of the detrusor muscle or contraction of the bladder and urination and the parental nerve which is s2 s3 and s4 it is responsible for voluntary control of our urethral sphincter uh, when we wish then this pudental nerve acts and finally urination occurs and colpo suspension here we can see this is the colpo suspension colpo suspension is a operation to uh, treat the stress urinary incontinence in case of women where the bladder neck is elevated and the reposition using the abdominal sutures and finally usually placed by a cut in the lower abdomen so here you can see the all options such as the sacral neuromodulation botulinum toxin injection bladder drill oxybutynin all are treatment of the overactive bladder only the colpo suspension it used for stress incontinence of the bladder thank you all